conservation of biodiversity is vital for the survival of mankind. This commitment of the Honorable Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy, is the inspiration for making this short film series. Andhra Pradesh State Biodiversity Board has taken up an initiative to produce a short film documentary series to showcase the rich biodiversity of the state christened as a window to Andhra Pradesh biodiversity. This documentary is the third in the series titled Grasslands. This is a part of various measures initiated by the board to create awareness and capacity building of the general public, the Biodiversity Management Committee members, school and college students, academicians, researchers and nature lovers who are the stakeholders. We live on an immensely diverse planet with a range of environmental regimes or biomes. An ecosystem that starts with grasses as the primary producer can be termed as grassland ecosystem. This is Rola Pardo Wildlife Sanctuary, spread over 8 square kilometers in Karnal district of Andhra Pradesh. Rola Pardo Sanctuary hosts critically endangered species, the great Indian bustard and the black buck. It is also a haven for a wide variety of animals and birds. This place is a visual treat and also has an environmental education center and camping facilities. Rola Padu Wildlife Sanctuary is a perfect example of highly dynamic grassland ecosystem. These lands are dominated by grasses rather than large shrubs or trees. Such ecosystems are found where there is not enough rainfall to support the growth of a forest but not so little that a desert forms. In fact, Grasslands often lie between forests and agricultural fields. They form the interface between human habitations and forest areas affording a kind of cushioning effect. The common species of grass occurring in grasslands include foxtail grass, bunch grass, buffalo grass, heteropogon, and Simbopogon grasses. We should remember that the grasslands are repositories of wild relatives of cultivated grasses, including species like paddy, wheat, jowar, and other millets. The consumers in a grassland ecosystem are of three levels primary consumers, secondary consumers, and tertiary consumers. Primary consumers feed directly from the grasses. Wild herbivores like deers, antelope and domesticated animals like cows, buffaloes, goats and those occurring naturally like rabbits, mouse and also insects, termites, centipedes, millipedes etc. belong to this group. Secondary consumers are the carnivorous animals such as snakes, lizard, jackal, foxes, frogs, etc. and big carnivores like tiger, lion and panther. These animals use the grasslands for hunting purposes. All these animals feed on the primary consumers. Birds like hawks and eagles constitute the tertiary consumers in the grassland ecosystem which preys upon the secondary and primary consumer. Therefore, conservation of grasslands conserves the land races of important food and fodder crops essential for the survival of all life forms including humans. Rolaparu Wildlife Sanctuary hosts the critically endangered species, the great Indian bustard, 
once common on the dry plains of the Indian subcontinent, as few as 150 individuals were estimated to survive in 2018. The species is critically endangered by hunting and loss of its habitat, which consists of large expanses of dry grassland and shrub. In the Andhra Pradesh state, it is estimated that only a few female birds are observed. Therefore, the government of Andhra Pradesh has appointed wildlife trackers and watchers for the protection of the habitat. Conservation measures and involvement of local people are taken up to reduce disturbances to the survival of the great Indian bustard. Efforts are also made to get a few male birds from Rajasthan state to conserve the GIB. The black buck, an endangered antelope found only in India and Nepal. This beautiful animal is found grazing along the grasslands and plains of India. The black buck is the state animal of Andhra Pradesh. Male and female black bucks have distinctly different appearances. Male black bucks have long spiral horns and darker coats. The females have no horns and are a light caramel colored brown. The black buck population has increased in the last 15 to 20 years and now they are invading agricultural lands causing man-animal conflicts and the creation of a rescue center for black bucks is also being considered. The Indian fox is a relatively small fox with an elongated muzzle, pointed ears and a long bushy tail. They become active during cool periods of daytime. Foxes are omnivorous and opportunistic feeders. They dig out dens to give birth and usually two to four pups are born in a den. Both parents participate in pup rearing and protection. Rolapadu Sanctuary is a haven for birds. A vast number of species use these areas for foraging. A few to name Short Toad, Snake Eagle, Pallet Harrier, Montagos Harrier, Red Necked Falcon, Eurasian Eagle Owl. Indian Eagle Owl, Spotted Owlet, Indian Corsair, Bee Eaters, Partridges, Doves, Drongo and Babblers. Threats to natural grasslands as well as the wildlife that live on them include farming, overgrazing and climate change. Humans plough grasslands to plant food and commercial crops and replace wildlife with domestic livestock and kill predator and prey alike. Clearance and encroachment of lands for human habitation and other needs has led to a reduction in the area covered by grasslands in India. The consequences are devastating. It should be understood that the grasslands are very fragile ecosystems and we should take conscious measures to preserve and promote grasslands for their ecological values. The problem is worse for the wildlife they supported. Many of the species of wild animals and birds have faced extinction due to loss of habitat. Plantation of only some species of grass for commercial use has increased, causing a reduction in grassland biodiversity. We do not understand the importance and continue to exploit these priceless resources. People do plant trees, but they should pay equal importance to replant or regeneration of the lost grasses in the open fields and barren mountain sides 
instead of converting barren lands to landfills or construction sites. We can rejuvenate these simply by planting grasses and providing little initial irrigation. These steps will definitely help in cleaning an area for aesthetic purposes and most importantly to save the environment. Therefore, it is the need of the hour and also part of our common social responsibility to contribute something to the cause of conservation of grassland ecosystems. All local biodiversity management committees in and around the vicinity of grasslands should be aware of these facts and involve actively in protecting the rich biodiversity of future generations.